Uh, they, he went to uh, Parliament the other day, knocked on the, 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 the buffoon's door and handed in 360,000 signed petitions. So this action is working, guys. You know, he's fighting for, uh, you know, just to live in a free society. We don't have to live in a show me your passport society to, to participate in society. He's doing a massive work. And obviously Magnus is part of that team, so he's going to give us an update in terms of what's going on and where we are. So a big massive round of applause for Marcus, please, guys. All right, everybody. Yeah, my name is Magnus. I'm from the Together organisation. And um, I say, we've been going on what, since, uh, like, since the summer of last year, building a nationwide organisation. And what I want to speak to you today, we want to speak to you about activism. All right, because we have got to where we've got today by people spending their time, spending their money, all right? going out, doing, doing, changing this world. So, the Together organisation, as, uh, as Jazz has said, we have had an online petition going. We had over 360,000 people signed up to that. That got handed in to uh, down the street. Now, in December, what we were doing is we had a... Uh, we had a like a, 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 we had a scheme going where we were uh, emailing the MPs, we were ringing the MPs, we were asking them to go, asking people to go to the surgeries, putting pressure on the MPs. Now, when the vote came, we lost that vote, but there was over 100 MPs that rebelled against the uh, COVID passport like legislation. And we are getting told by our contacts in the inside in Westminster that our concerted action had an effect. Now, these people know that the wind has changed. These people know that what they've played their cards on, that this is now a losing hand. So what we are asking you to do is to contribute to our coordinated actions. Put pressure on these people because they're starting to clock. Because they know. They know. It's going the other way now. So, we're doing two things. Number one, we're Practically, we're going out onto the streets, we're going to the hospitals, we are going to the hospitals and we are providing support for all the NHS and healthcare workers out there because we stand shoulder to shoulder with anybody that is standing up and against this nonsense. Yeah. Now, it's not easy. It's not easy to stare the demon in the face when they're trying to take away your job. Anyone out there that's ever had to be in a tribunal or had to stand up for themselves in the workplace, it's not easy when you have to face the reality. When you're facing the reality of losing that roof over your head, losing that food off your table. But it is through our bravery it is through us refusing to comply that we will win this. In America, they tried this. In America, there was a uh, vaccine mandate for healthcare workers. Now, you've not heard anything about that recently. It's because it fell to pieces. It disappeared. It went away. Because enough people in the healthcare system of America said, No! I will not comply! Now the mainstream media is not going to tell you about that. But that's what's going to happen here. If enough people stand up and if we support those people that are standing up. Now, if your, your work or your, your, like your family commitments mean that you can't get out there to the hospitals, to the health centres and actually try and put, like, support, because they say, we've got, we've got letters, we've got the advice for the NHS workers. Where we say, number one, you need to go and ask for an individual health, like risk assessment. Individual risk assessment. And you need to tell your employer, well the government said I can't sue Big Pharma. And the insurance companies have been very, very clear about this. The insurance companies have said, well this is an experimental medication. And you've taken it voluntarily. So we're not paying you anything. So you need to say to your employer, so before we go anywhere, what I need is for you to sign a piece of paper saying that you are fully responsible for anything that happens to me. And look at their faces. Look at their faces when they do that. 
Because the shoe is on the other foot now. Now, those of you who can't get out and about, you're sat at home, you've got the laptop out. If you sign up on togetherdeclaration.org, you will get our weekly emails. We'll give you suggestions as to what you can do. For example, we were emailing the MP saying, if you vote for that, I'm not voting for you. Now, what we're suggesting that you do now is uh, go on your most trusted search engine that you don't think is going to spy on you. Right, put in like health authorities in perhaps Birmingham, and you'll get a list of all the health authorities, all the uh, like the health service providers. Now there was a phenomenal website called ceoemails.com, and if you go in there, you write in whatever company you're after, and it'll give you the email of the CEO. Now you can do that for the BBC, Channel Four, like whatever, and then just send them the emails telling them telling them how disgusted you are that they should be participating in this. And I've been getting emails back from chief executives. I've been getting emails back from Director General of the BBC going, no, 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 no. We're fair. No, we're impartial. And I said to him, well, mate, well, we're going to have to disagree about that because it looks like, it looks like you're a state broadcaster for a totalitarian regime to me, mate. But you can do that. You can do that from the safety of your own sofa. Send a couple of emails a day. But put pressure on these people. Pressure on the MPs. We're not going to forget. We're not voting for you if you're going to support this nonsense. Go to the health authorities. To the chief executives. How dare you enact these illiberal policies. Forcing, coercing your brave, your bravest staff because they want to, like, they demand the right to respect their personal autonomy. So please, go back on, onto the website, you'll get those suggested email campaigns that we're doing, and we'll just keep the pressure up. We can't underestimate these people. We can't underestimate these people. Keep the pressure up. Now, they thought that we were cattle. They thought they could prod us, probe us, Jabbers, but what they found out is that they started a stampede! And it's them that's gonna get trampled! So we here now standing up, we can count we continue sticking it to Boris and his buddies. We will win through peaceful non-compliance, and we will act as a beacon to all our brothers and sisters around the world who are similarly standing up, seizing their bravery, standing up, and we will win around the world. Thank you.